And so let's go through those primary pollutants again. We've got VOX, which are volatile organic compounds. An example could be this gasoline that's evaporating into the environment, formaldehyde. If you smell a pine tree, those are VOX, or organic compounds that are coming off and can lead to things like smog. We've got carbon monoxide, which is produced combustion. All of these sources produce carbon monoxide. We then have NOx, which is going to be nitrogen or nitric oxide, and then nitrogen dioxide. It's this brown gas that contributes to that color that you see in smog. We then have sulfur dioxide, You've probably smelled that if you've ever been around a coal uh, plant. And you can see the, here that in, in the U.S. it's going to be uh, restricted to the East Coast generally because we're going to have more industrialization there. And then we have particulate matter. These are going to be small solids. This is from the EPA. So you can think of sand as an example of a particulate, but it's not small enough. And so this is your hair. It's going to be on the order of 50 to 70 microns. And so we're talking about things that are smaller than that. Small sediments that as you breathe it in, the hairs in your nose and respiratory tract don't trap it. It goes into your lungs and just like smoking, it's stuck there and can lead to other types of diseases. And then we have chemicals like lead. We used to add lead to our gasoline and there's huge neurological impacts of lead. Now again, these primary pollutants can produce secondary pollutants. And so the nitrogen and the sulfur can lead to nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And these lead to acid rain. It can dissolve statues like this, but more importantly, it changes the pH in the whole food web. And, and can impact living systems. And then we have ozone. Ozone, we've talked about before, can be good. And so if we look at the stratosphere, way up here in the stratosphere, remember the ozone, which is produced naturally, is blocking harmful UV rays. But if we move down near the Earth, it produces a tropospheric ozone. We call that bad ozone. And so at low altitude to cool and then cooler air as we move up. And this gradient is going to move a lot of those pollutants up and then away from that city or wherever they're produced. But sometimes due to currents or wind or um, just the geography of the city, you can get what's called an inversion. And so instead what we have is a layer of cooler air near the earth. And so it's inverted. And so as we move up, it gets warmer and then it gets cooler after that. And so what you're doing is you're trapping all those pollutants near the surface of the earth. They can't move up and they can't move away. And then we start to have chemical reactions going on. And so photochemical smog is caused by these three things, NOx, VOX, and the sun. And so if we look at that chemically, this is nitrogen dioxide. And if you have sunlight, what happens is that will break a free oxygen atom away. Now that free oxygen atom can then combine with atmospheric uh, oxygen and it can produce this ozone. And so what is smog? It's essentially this, these NOx compounds and then it's going to be this ozone. But naturally what will happen is that these will spontaneously move back to nitrogen dioxide and, and regular tropospheric uh, oxygen. And so again, to make smog we have to not only have NOx and the sun, but we have to have these volatile organic compounds as well. And so so how does it work? We break apart that nitrogen dioxide again. So we're producing this nitric oxide and that will combine with these volatile organic compounds in the atmosphere itself. And so now what happens is that we produce this ozone, but it's not spontaneously going to go back again. And so how do you form smog? We have to have these volatile organic compounds. We have to have this nitrogen dioxide and then we have to have sunlight. And so areas like Los Angeles, where all of these come together, have a huge amount of smog. How do we prevent it? we prevent the amount of nitrogen dioxide and we prevent the amount of volatile organic compounds in the atmosphere. Now how do we eliminate air pollution? We do that through legislation. So we have restrictions on the amount of pollutants and so the Clean Air Act is probably the most famous one in 1970 and what they did is they put strict standards on these pollutants over here. And so in industry you're limited on how many of these pollutants you can put into the atmosphere. And so did you learn the following? Could you pause the video at this point and go through and fill it all out? Well, let me do that for you. It can cause lung disease, heart disease, and then increase cancer risks. Those chemicals could come naturally. They could come stationary or mobile sources. Um, we can control that through the Clean Air Act and technology and regulation. If we look at the pollutants themselves, again, in, in review, it's VOX, carbon monoxide, NOx. That produces nitric acid. We have sulfur dioxide, particulate matter, and then things like lead. Um, these acids can lead to acid deposition. And the combination of all these produces smog 
smog which is exacerbated by temperatures inversions and so that's air pollution it's deadly if we don't regulate it and I hope that was helpful And because they don't want to measure it or they can't measure it, they don't know anything about it. And they refuse to learn anything about it. They refuse to read anything about it. They refuse to accept any standards to people from people who knows it very well. Not me, EPA. Then, which means they know nothing. So don't get fooled by people who know nothing. Who just want to bullshit away to glory. Unnumariyatha pollution control board arna idinu approval kurtu. Avan arna idinu kwaarapo unnu illa nu paranjya vare. Measure iyaade, alakade, oru oru arayu bolu illa tha permission kurtu kundu. Adhe samayte panjayat. Avan kavalu ariyama. Avan avan idu board thene approval kurtu. Avan inda avan idu illa nu thoran ganda pollution control board arna first step. അവരാണ് ഏറ്റവും മാക്സിമം ഡാമേജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പിന്നെ നമ്മുടെ കോർട്ടിലെ കേസസും തട്ടിപ്പോയത് അവർ കാരണം തന്നെ അവർ കള്ള റിപ്പോർട്ട് കൊടുത്താണ് അത് തട്ടിക്കളഞ്ഞത് സോ അത് മനസ്സിലാക്കണം യു വൺസ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് എവ്രിത്തിങ് വിൽ ബിക്കം വെരി ക്ലിയർ ഐ ക്യാൻ ഓൺലി സെ ദിസ് മച്ച് സോ ഐ വോണ്ട് യു ടു റൈറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ടു പൊല്യൂഷൻ കൺട്രോൾ ബോർഡ് നമുക്ക് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് എന്നുള്ള പരിപാടി നോക്കാൻ പറയണം വലിയ 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 തുകയൊന്നും ആകത്തില്ല ഇത് കൊണ്ടൻഷനുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് സോ ഇഫ് ദേ കെൻ നോട്ട് ഡു ഇറ്റ് ലീവ് ഇറ്റ് വേഴ്സ് വി വിൽ ഡു ഇറ്റ് ദേ ജസ്റ്റ് റീഫണ്ട് ദ കോസ്റ്റ് പ്ലീസ് ഡോൺ മേക്ക് എനി എക്സ്ക്യൂസസ